Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Age of Wonders 3. This is the Commonwealth Campaign and Episode 26. In the last episode, stuff happened. Junk and stuff and stuff and junk. It has happened, it is around, and it kind of sucks. But it is what it is, I guess. The only way to really say it. So, I've deciphered a little bit here. I've decided, I've contemplated, I've thought about it, and I finally have made a decision and that decision is as follows. I am going to go ahead and start clearing out some of these other places. I think that is going to be my very, very, very best bet. And the only way I'm actually going to be able to succeed at anything I'm actually doing. So, with that being said, I have a few things I need to take care of. Now... This one should be pretty easy, but again, I, I have a feeling that like at any point they can come charging at me and kill me, so I don't want to leave anything behind. I was originally going to send Edward out to do stuff, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. In addition to that, that's fine. That's fine as well. Okay, well, we'll see what happens here. And end the turn, and it looks like somebody is indeed on the move. Alright, looks like we have another double fight on our hands. And they're attacking my city again, which is never fun. Oh well. Alright, manual combat, we shall do battle. We'll be victorious in all things. Maybe. Maybe we'll be victorious. I don't know. The potential for victory is there, but the probability is pretty slim. Let's just call it the way it is. Alright, so we have spells we can use. I am going to stone the drone. Stone drone, ladies and gentlemen. Stone drone. Alright, that worked out pretty pretty nicely. I won't complain. I don't know why the map just jumped like that, but that's okay. We will defend as you. And you can't quite reach yet. We'll defend as you as well. And that is the end of the turn. It is your turn, good sir. Ow, fire bad. It hurts. Pain, suffering, agony. Alright, so not super great, um, but still enough for us to kill. Apparently blow stuff up, too. Alright, let's see. Apparently they fire fire bolts down by the fireside. Um, not sure. We don't have any kind of healing, do we? We do not. Hmm... Not sure I want to do anything else. I'm tempted to charge this guy down, but let's see what happens on the next turn here. I'm assuming he's going to walk forward and throw the fireballs up on the high ground. I'm hoping it's only a singular one and it doesn't kill him. And it didn't. Alright, so good. I planned that out rather nicely and I got extremely lucky. And I got lucky again. And there we go. Final luck. Victory is mine. Alright, so I will take that in a heartbeat. Okay. So they're really, really hurt at this point, and that's not great. Oh, and they took one of our structures, which is also not great. But perhaps we can take that back. But if we do, they may also roll out on us. So you never know. You never know exactly what's going down the pike. I suppose I'm just going to auto combat that. There's no point in fighting it out. Going to take that with our boy. Structure was undefended as ours once again, so we lost it for not even a full turn. And we're gonna head back. I really need to fortify up there, I need to fortify here. So basically I need to fortify everywhere. That's kind of the the straws that we're grasping at here. It seems like fortification is going to be key. Now I imagine if I focus on any one side, the other sides are going to have issues, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try actually attacking off to the east. Um, we're probably fine with that. Let's just auto combat that. I don't need to take all these fights, yeah, so it was an easy enough win. We got knowledge points for our next little bit. Um, I'm hoping that this guy can defend. They seem to still be building up some troops. Not the greatest of folks, but what, what do we have there now? What are these guys? Those are dwarven crossbowmen. Okay, well that's not terrible then. Um, I think we'll, eh, we'll see what we're gonna do. All right, what is this place? Oh, it is this place. Okay. 
Um, let's get out some walls up. I think that might be our best bet to start with. And Swam Bag is over here. Um, how about a Dwarf Boar Rider? It's our only Tier 2 unit that we have so far. What kind of walls do we have? We don't have stone walls yet. So we're going to roll with this. And hope that we can make it back in time. I don't know. I assume that they're going to launch an attack here. I mean, I don't have vision down this way. I kind of wish I did, but unfortunately that is not in the cards right now. This army requires orders. Well, we've gotten everything cleared out of this spot. We still could benefit from clearing that area out. And I think I'm trying to actually get enough money to buy these guys out, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Not 100% sold on anything. Yeah, see, they're already sending something in to take over my uh, little town there. Not a super huge fan of it. And there's no way to make it? No, there's not. Alright, so we'll have to deal with that next turn around. And hopefully these boys here... Let see, they're still a bit out. There's no way they're going to actually be fully healed up by the time we need them to be. This town's actually got quite a bit of stuff going for it. Um, the city generates an additional 15 production and regenerates health of garrison machined units. Oh, interesting. Arena Public Baths, Griffin Spire. Let's get one of those. And then maybe we'll... I don't know. Maybe we'll go with a Berserker, a Mounted Archer, and a Unicorn Rider just to start with. See where that takes us. Alright, looks like that place has actually grown into a village. What are we sitting there? Okay. Um, we're still building something. That's okay. Alright, what army do we have here? Oh, we could have moved her more. We only moved her a little bit last time. Yeah, I think I'm going to fall back and I'm actually going to go and start doing some attacks that way. Hopefully that is a wise course of action. I don't honestly know one way or the other, but I'm going to go. I'm going to actually do this combat. I I really enjoy this game, guys. I really do. And I wish I was able to play it more often. Like I said, when I get an opening in my schedule and it's not filled immediately with something else, I think I'm just going to focus on knocking this game out. Maybe get all the way through the Commonwealth campaign and call it close to it there for a while at least and then we'll see where where I decide to go with it after that pretty sure this isn't great for our people because I think they're fairly resistant to actual attacks okay so we're just gonna try it there Oh, they recharged. Oh, they actually. Oh, I thought they were going to attack us. Okay. Well, that's not near as bad. Um, okay. Do one each. Not bad. Piggies should be able to finish it. Very nice. They managed to stun themselves, but we're able to do a little bobo -bo shooty pew pew action. They cannot be affected by our attack, but we can melee them. That's fine. <coughs> And victory! Sweet. Hopefully we gained a little bit of... No, not nearly enough experience. But we got some mana out of the deal. That's not terrible. Um, I'm going to move back. I'm going to go with you two being inside. Well, I imagine all of them are going to be inside, so... I'm going to sit these guys back this way, and hopefully we can defend this area. Don't know 100% for sure, but we'll see. Alright, so we've moved you already. we moved you already as well. Okay, I think that's it. So you gotta move in and defend. And can we do it? Looks like we can. We will auto-combat that. It's an easy win. Take it in there. And it looks like Inspire Loyalty has been disjuncted. So we shall cast it again in the future here. Going to move, I guess, down this way, see what's going on. Maybe we can pick off one of their guys, I'm not sure. We'll head over here. 
and we're gonna actually launch a, a want to say we're going to launch a pretty decent sized attack, but there's no way to be 100% certain. Alright, so that's going to actually do that. Okay, um... Dwarven crossbowmen. I think I need a couple of those. We'll leave it at that for them. You boys, how are you doing? Two turns left on that. That's, that's okay. Um, what are we doing down here? I suppose we're building up a few more folks. Let's see here. Probably put some wooden walls up and maybe a barracks. And we'll leave it at that for now. Do we have enough? I think we do. I think we have enough. So let's see if we can get this guy to join us. Negotiate. It's time to join. 113. That's well worth it. And that means to me now, I'm just going to leave it where it's at now. And next turn, I think I'm going to switch it over. I really wanted to get my other person here to attack this, but I don't feel like that is a viable option at this point. Which sucks, I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, I might go peek and see what's actually over there, though. We'll let them run away. Some free experience and apparently some mana. They have a decent amount of things. Not a tremendously huge, but we still don't think can handle that. Oh, there's a monster uh, area over there as well. Uh, auto combat? Sure. Easy experience for our people. Alright. Take the, the warg. Very nice. Actually, I think we'll send the warg over to... Let's send it over there. And Largston needs to build a wall immediately. So I guess the plan is going to be to try to out, out money them, and then just mass troops and slaughter. I guess it's going to be the overall plan. Um, I'm going to build a couple more trebuchet. Well, yeah, a couple more trebuchets. Another war rider, some dwarven crossbowmen. It's fine. We'll make it work, folks. We will make it work. All right. So so far we're. Eh. We're alive. We are alive. I don't know what that was all about, but okay. Inspire loyalty is ready to cast. Cast a spell. You can try to reinforce it, but I guess not. Okay. So let's cast now. Gonna move here. Do we already clear that? I think maybe we did. If not, we'll clear it now. It's like we not. All right. Probable victory. Let's see if we can make it an amazing, astounding, super awesome victory. Eh, eh. Or, or at least a, a fairly decent victory, I guess. All right. Looks like there's a Griffin Rider, and my wife left her computer sound on once again, folks. That's always annoying. You guys should know this by now, it drives me insane any time she does it. I'm not a super huge fan of it. Going to back up. Not sure I can launch far enough. No, I can't. Alright, so let's take a look. You can move to all those places. You are melee, you are melee, you are a shooter, you are melee. Alright. Move the boar rider back. Move the high elf berserker back. Monster Hunter back, and then our own mounted archers back as well. And I guess we can check out maybe a flashbang, I don't know. Tony um, and Monster Hunters, and they're blinded, so that should help us a lot. I don't think I've ever seen the flashbang work before. So I'm pretty excited to see that. They're coming our way. Looks like we might actually be able to do something here. No change. All right, I really don't like this particular camera angle, but we're gonna roll with it anyway. And we did some work, but it wasn't quite enough to finish them. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna check our shot and see. So our shot is just as likely to hit as the rest of it. High Elf Union Guard. 
Berserker. Conian Manticore. Hmm. Move up. Straight shot. It's going to do some serious damage. Nice. The Zerg can't quite close. Neither can they, unfortunately. Alright. Oh, well, we're going to try it with the Zerg. Oh, man. That was terrible. Dwarven Boar Rider. Hmm. Still not great. Let's see if we can do something with casting a spell. Nope. Apparently we've used all of our mana. Okay, gonna roll out here and we'll see what's gonna happen. We're gonna have to tank up quite a bit, I think. And that did not work, we just got wrecked. Okay, we get double flanked. Our hero can handle that. As well. Alright. So first things first, let's kill these guys. Or at least almost kill them. Okay, so that worked out. Um, drop them. Let's see, Boar Rider should be able to finish them off, I think. Yep. And that leaves me with having to run this guy down, which I will do even if it takes a little bit of extra hit from the monster hunters, which again, not super concerned with. Bring it on! What are you going to do? They are going to freak out. Oh, they actually got a kill. That's so disappointing. Well, I really didn't think I had much to worry about there, but apparently I was incorrect. And there we go. So, victory is ours. We lost one guy. It sucked, but it was what it was. And it's okay. It was, what, our high elf berserkers, really? That's... Oh, we lost two guys. No, that's right. We lost the berserkers early. And we lost the war riders. So that actually really hurt us. However, looks like we just got two draconians to join our squad. So I don't hate that. And it looks like we found another friend. So let's, um, let's finish him off. We'll just auto-combat that. There's no way it's going to do anything to us. All right, so there we go. We have done it, and victory is ours. I like it. We're going to have to heal up after such a horrible, horrible fight as that, but it's okay. We can take the time to heal. We can upgrade our hero as well, which is really sweet. So let's see, what did he get? Summon Siege Engine. I like that. Yeah, let's get that one. Let's just make sure it's what I think it is. Um, sorry. Summons a random Siege Engine until the end of turn. That does sound pretty good. Alright. Tolkien is doing that. Let's get a Warlord's Command in here as well, and then we'll see where we need to move. Um... Things are looking a little, a little, ooh, a little messy. Let's deal with this right away. Should be able to auto combat that down as well. We did. Gained a little bit of a uh, leveling up, which is sweet, sweet, nice. Um, our warg is going to join our other fellows here, and we should be able to. I think I'm going to do manual combat on this as well, guys. I know, I know. I don't have to do a lot of the manual combat. And I've, I've skipped some of them so far, so you guys should start feeling a little bit better about that. <laughs> Mildly annoying. Not really that bad. Alright, Elven Longbowman. The Halberders. Some more Elven Longbowmen. Ooh, they're actually out of range. Okay, let's do some damage to the human archers as well. And we'll do a bit of damage there. It's not bad. The wargs can hold the line if they need to. The storm sister, can they? Well, they can, but they're 
problem with it. However, our archers will not. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, it is your move, sir. Alright, so we're gonna get shot. Ow. Triple crit. Wow, they actually killed the wargs in one. Wow, that's, that's like amazing. Alright, and we will drop you, good sirs. And do a little bit of damage to them, and a little bit more. Victory is ours, and we just gained one guy, but we lost him immediately. So, catch 22, I, I, I don't know. It's fine. Alright, let's back back down here, and what are, we, what are we building? Oh, we're building the war, okay. Well, I'll wait for that to get done next turn, and we'll see where it takes us. Okay, so they are... Hopefully healing up rather rapidly. It doesn't seem like it, though. It does seem very slow in the healing process. Um, seem to have a pretty good s stranglehold up there, or chokehold, if you will. Not sure. Not sure what's going to happen next. We will have to watch and see. Domain Invasion and Tolkien. Alright, they took that again. Kind of to be expected, I guess. Structure was undefended, they took it, blah blah blah. We figured that was gonna happen at some point. Let's see if we can go take it back. Looks like we can. I'm not even gonna fight this. Auto combat is good enough for me. And that is a net win. We are going to take our thing back. It was undefended, just like it was before. And there we have it. Hopefully they'll be able to build up enough of a resistance that we can actually come up here and do some work hope these guys actually can heal up enough as well. Okay, they are building up a decent stuff. Alright, and our other hero got upgraded. Let's see what she can grab. I think, um... I think what I want... Ooh, what, what are Blood Brothers? All units in the hero's army gain strong will. This ability only functions when the heroes in the army. I don't know what strong will is. Do we have that now? No. Don't see it. Oh, well, I'm not sure what strong will is, but I think what I'm going to do instead is maybe focus on her range strength a little bit, and then maybe I don't know hit points and defense. Just buff her physically. Should be fine. I think it should be okay. All right, what kind of units can we produce? Um, a dwarf mounted archer actually sounds pretty exciting, so I want to do that. And then I want to get a barracks, and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, they seem to have lost a single unit as well. Come back here to make sure we hold. Army requires orders. It's really, really slowly healing. It needs to heal much quicker. Okay, I have them camp. Army requires orders. Same thing with you boys. What is... Okay. So what is actually going on over here? So that was the invasion. Huh. He entered the domain, but then it seems that he left. That's kind of weird. Is he trying to bypass? I don't see anything. Oh, he is bypassing. Oops. Totally blind. Didn't see that at all. Alright. And we can get there. Okay. So let's see if we can actually take this guy out. There's a probable victory. Um, well, let's do some manual combat. Probable is not a very likely victory, so... I think after this combat, guys, I'll do probably one or two more turns, and then, ooh, then break it off. Alright, so, the good news is, it looks like... One sec, let's see here. Can't reach the target, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, that's not good. Heavy projectile resistance. That's really not good, actually. Um, 
Guess we're gonna have to try stoning. Oh, I didn't do much either. What are these things? These things are ridiculous. Just tier three units, but they're like immune to all damage. Incorporeal. Mind control immunity. They have the ability to do backstabs, which are not good. Projectile resistance. And their melee strike apparently can trigger up to three times and does horrible, horrible, awful damage to us. So pretty much tailored to slaughter our little squad of individuals here. Not great. Definitely not great. Okay. We've avoided the one Shadow Stalker, but... That really says about us. Alright, we're gonna end our turn. He's probably gonna come down here and kill our crossbow. Oh, more damage done to our. Oh, he went straight there. That was definitely not the most direct path. Okay, so he took out one of our siege engines, which I'm not a super huge fan of him doing. Let's see if we can't flank him. Okay, well we did, but man, at what cost? Oh gosh, that does no damage at all. That's terrifying. All right, what can we what can we do? We can suffocate him, I guess, maybe. Oh, it can't even be affected by that. Nice. Uh, I guess we're gonna stone skin on our our. Only swordsman. Not sure what he's gonna plan to attack. Oh, he's gonna go after the human guys. Okay. Could have been far worse. I know it probably doesn't seem like it. Let's see. Alright. Can't quite hit us. How far can he move? There. Okay, I'm gonna under turn again to see what the next play is. Your move, sir. Your move. Alright, I don't particularly like his move, but you know, what can he do, right? <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit of damage there. Move up, a little bit more damage. Okay, still not much. So charge him down and die for it. And, oh, that's right, they lose, like, all mobility. Hmm. Probably should have remembered that. So that went far worse than I anticipated. Oh, kind of, kind of hurt himself there a little bit. Alright. That did not go as well as I had hoped, either. Okay, does he move on our ranged units, or what? Massacred them both. And we did it! That was very, very messy, but. A win's a win, I guess. A win's a win. Alright, so we need to get back into town as soon as possible and start pumping out troops. Which sucks because. Well. Well, you already know why it sucks. Alright. Where are we at here? Where are we at? They definitely have some stuff to make our lives miserable. Definitely know what direction I'm going to head for future... Oh my gosh. That is a lot of really, really bad things. Is there even any sort of way I can almost get there in time? Nope, doesn't look like it, does it? Um, well, that's not good. I 
That's not rain. All right, well, we're we're doing stuff, guys. We are doing stuff. All right, catapults are being made. They've actually almost healed all the way to full, which is not a terrible thing. We're ready to move with this individual. And hopefully we see some good news coming. And not just bad news. Alright. Well, I'm not sure what to make of any of this right now, guys. Like, I kind of want to build up horses in these other cities, but I'm trying to build buildings that will actually make it useful. There's no way we hold against 10 with just 3 and a, a crippled 3 of that, so... I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe... Maybe we can make, uh... Maybe we can make it out of here. And... I don't know what that did doesn't seem to be good, and these guys really, really need to have people in their town. So it looks like, yeah, this is not going to go well. Having to try to hold that would be virtually impossible. Well, we'll see what plays out, guys. There's only so much we can do, right? Okay, we're moving this way, I guess. Hengevolt, the place where it all started. Foolish Gorsmog thought only of what power he would gain. But I will make him lose everything. I hope Larissa is unharmed somewhere inside. Oh, we can actually take this. Possibly. What, what is that? Ooh, cannon. Um, I'm going to abort the attack. For now. Probably gonna lose quite a bit doing this, but eh, it is what it is. All right, so our throne city is ready to go. High elf Griffin Rider, high elf Phalanx. Let's do one of those, and then I don't know, uh, maybe another mounted archer, and then a Griffin Rider. Seems like it's got some potential. Alright, can you build any units in time? It does not appear to be so. We can probably take the city. Such a difficult thing to do, guys. Alright, we're going to see what this next turn brings, but I, I don't have high hopes for it. took the city and they're gonna go on and take more stuff and we're gonna lose everything because they're just ridiculous. Yeah, that sucks. Alright, well. Guess so we have one troop there. Alright, so we just we need to mass produce. That's basically it. So mass produce some troops and maybe we'll be okay. Dwarven Berserker. I like the idea of that. Alright, what can we build with you guys in one turn? A Dwarven Prospector? I guess that's going to have to do it. I mean, there's no... Oh gosh, we don't have wooden walls or anything. Huh? Not great. Not great. Um, the Boar Rider might be able to do something, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Alright. Well, with that, can we get there in range. Not with everybody. Uh, really? I'm gonna cancel it again. Apparently there's something there I didn't see. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to break this off right here, guys, and we'll have to see next week what exactly happens. And again, once I clear out the Risen series and or any of the other series that I'm actually working on. 
The only one that's not up for debate would be Massive Chalice. I already have a replacement for that, but pretty much all the other ones, once those are cleared out, maybe I can start making headway on this game, because I've had this one for quite a while, and I've been playing it for a very long time, but I don't really have that many episodes up and running. I've been kind of doing it as a once-a-week thing, and, well, like I said, I really enjoy playing the game, and playing it so, so sparsely or so scarcely, I feel... I don't know, I feel as though I just start getting back into it when it, it all falls apart again, you know? So it's like, alright, I just got back into it, and now I have to stop. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you next week with more Age of Wonders 3. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.